see see in my channel i have a lot of base videos like my my phone i mean yeah i'm recording in my phone the videos base vids so for me the db technologies doesn't give you a lot of base it has it has stunning it has stunning um it has stunning stunning looks yeah i love the looks of this db technologies because it is really it really looks so professional for me and of course here at the middle this is the next one is the l acoustics this l acoustics omg i mean yeah this is really very good you know why i tried to listen it for a lot of times it was the most flattest sound sound that it have given me the dial acoustics is used in Hollywood Bowl and I was really shocked at its performance. It really sounded flat and the bass I, I hear it but I don't feel it that much. Maybe because they, they was using the L acoustics SB eighteen, the single eighteen inch subwoofer, the flyable sub, but they just ground stack it. I re I was really surprised with the quality of this L acoustics. It's really so flat and very natural sounding. That is how light array should sound like. But I don't think the price of this was tolerable because the price of this L acoustics is really that high that even I asked the exhibitors from the inside how much was it. They just gave me that. They told me that, oh no, I, I don't, I think... Um, we, we cannot give the, the price here, but we, we can email it. Maybe because they see what am I? I don't know. But for me, L acoustics is a big thumbs up. I really recommend that line array. And next is the Martin Ojo. So the Martin Ojo, it really gives a plenty of high. And it's really loud that you cannot really, within, you know, this is 50 meters. It's, you can still hear the, the instruments like hissing like that. And of course, the sub... Um, it's just fine. I'm not really surprised with the kind of sub that they use. And for the last is the DNB Audio Technique. Oh, nice one. This DNB Audio Technique is really very good. For me, I really love this system very good. With their DNB Audio Technique subwoofer, the B22 model, the bass was felt in my body and the bass was so big. The bass sounded like a very big earthquake and that's what I like from subs. So sorry guys, I'm really, I'm a certified bass head but for me, I am going for DNB Audio Technique. So if you were guys, if you guys don't believe, just go for yourself and check out which one has the best bass. And the mid-high, they give um the mid the mid and the high it doesn't hurt my ears yeah but the bass the bass is really very good in my ears that i don't want it the next line array to sound like that and for our last is the adamson so this adamson line array um i i, I would give some very good comments in adamson yes their subwoofers rattled the cars from the parking lot the, the parking lot the, the cars and the parking lot sounded the alarm because maybe the bass is really loud and but but i think the bass is um not a little bit um i was not satisfied because the bass was a little bit um not good because i don't know maybe there are cancellations because there are a lot of line arrays but there because there are a lot of subwoofers and the subwoofers were not stacked properly. They should be center stuff. There was a, a little bit of spacing, but maybe because it's for the feedback cancellation and things like that. Because the kick drum, they said this was feeding back with the sub, but it, it could be manageable because it's, it does, they were using a DSP, digital signal processing system in their amplifier touring rack. They were using a lab group and power amp to power those passive line array speakers and of course the mid high and it's really it's really loud yeah i was stunned by its loudness and it doesn't hurt my it doesn't hurt my ear maybe because it, that's quality even though it's loud it doesn't distort so guys thank you for watching and hope you subscribe and leave a thumbs up or thumbs down if you're not and and comment down below if what is your suggestions and your thoughts about this line array speakers but for me the best line array is depends on your taste but because i i was a bass head i would choose 
the line array with with a very good sounding bass but it, it all depends on what you like and thank you guys for watching hope you subscribe and thank you for watching